sometimes in some patients the hair has to go before it can grow so what i mean by that and it's not unique to any one particular hair loss treatment although agents or ingredients like minoxidil it's known that one of the side effects and it's a relatively common side effect i've, I've read anywhere from 10 percent can experience an initial shedding in the first two months can start after two to three weeks but in the first couple of months especially what people can experience is like more shedding than what they're used to and it freaks the heck out of people because it's like going on a weight loss program and going and gaining 20 kilos before you lose 30. So it's a really negatively reinforcing component of hair loss programs. But what's really important is to understand why it happens, to understand that for a significant amount of people, it's actually a positive thing. And to understand that the rainbow is on the other side of the storm. So we'll start at why it happens. So it happens because all of your hair fibers are at a slightly different point or a slightly different stage of the hair growth cycle. So to simplify it, you have three different stages of the hair growth cycle. You've got the anagen phase, which is the growth phase. You've got the catagen phase, which is where your hair just starts to transition into the shedding phase. So it becomes dormant. It just sits there. It's in this transient sort of stage of going from growing to not growing. And then you've got the telogen phase, which is the phase where it's going to then actively start shedding. So 90% of the hair on your head at any one point in time is in the growth phase. About 5% of the hair on your head is in the catagen phase and about 5% of the hair on your head is in the telogen phase. The thing is, is that your hair doesn't all grow and fall out at the same time. Otherwise, every two to six years, you'd go bald and then you'd grow it all back again. So it's desynchronous. So it's all growing and shedding at different times. And what is normal for an individual is to shed anywhere from, depends on what resource you read, anywhere from 100 to 200 hairs a day. So you can constantly be shedding that number of hairs every day anyway. What happens when you start a hair loss, either a hair loss drug or a hair loss program, those hairs that are all in that telogen phase that might you know eject themselves in the next weeks months they all prematurely get knocked out or pushed off the head at a very similar time so what it's what occurs for the individual is they feel like they are now losing hair so why it happens is yeah the it's the positive impact of the ingredients or the treatment that you're using or both actually pushing those hairs that are no longer serving you off the head so hairs that are thicker and healthier and will look better actually have the opportunity to grow through in place of those hairs that were thinner and uh were didn't and did not look as healthy it's a positive thing about this is that it means that the hair that's going to grow through in place of these older, more tired looking hairs, they'll be healthier, fuller, thicker, and they're going to have uh, a better appearance to them than the hairs that were there. So it's a positive thing. The other thing to say about it is you do need to push through that storm though to get the benefits out the other side. Because what happens is a lot of people get deterred. They get to a point they see an increase in shedding and then they freak out and then they stop. The problem with that then is that you're at a net loss because you've shed those hairs and you need to continue to push through with the ingredients you're using and the treatment program that you're using to then get the benefits of that treatment program to bud up new hairs and help mature those hairs to become terminal hairs, so to become thicker hairs. So you need to push through. So when you get to that period of like, oh, I feel like I'm noticing more loss, so important that you push through that period because the gains will be on the other side of the pains, if you like. So that's why sometimes the hair needs to go before it can grow. And if you're freaking out, by all means, contact the person, whether it's me, whether it's another doctor, whoever is treating your hair, contact the company or the doctor, the physician, whoever's treating your hair, contact them and tell them so they can talk you through 
hopefully what I've just spoken to you about. And they can also rule out other things that might potentially be leading to advance or increased shedding and loss, which is an important component as well.